Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video for you. So yesterday we actually picked all of our pumpkins from our garden. We always grow pie pumpkins every year, which is great for making like pumpkin bars, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin pies, all of the pumpkin things. So today I'm gonna show you how I actually bake those pumpkins out and turn them into puree. So if you actually want to buy the real pie pumpkins from the store, they're so good and full of flavor, or you can pick them up from a garden near you. They are so much better than the pumpkin filling that you get at the store. And I'm also going to be sharing my favorite pumpkin bar recipe with a cream cheese frosting. It is super delicious. It's the recipe that my mom always used to use. It's super good. It's actually Kenny and I's anniversary tomorrow, but we're celebrating tonight. So I figured that would be a fun little dessert for us. So come along with me and I will show you how I make it all. So I am actually starting off by baking out my pie pumpkin so I can get that nice puree for the pumpkin bars. I just preheated my oven to 375 degrees and now I'm lining two baking sheets with some tin foil just to make the cleanup process a little bit easier. I definitely recommend doing this when you're baking out pumpkins. It just makes the cleanup so much easier. We have so many pie pumpkins from our garden. So I'm going to be doing this process a lot this fall so I figured I would just show you guys how I do it. I do like to break the stems off of my pumpkins. I just find that it makes them a little bit easier to cut. They're a little tricky to break off, but I promise it makes it a little bit easier. And then to actually cut these, you're going to want a very sharp knife. If you have never cut a pumpkin, they are very tricky to cut. I always use the Kyocera brand knives. You guys see these all the time in my videos. They're definitely what I recommend. I will have them linked on Amazon for you, but I definitely recommend these knives for cutting out these pumpkins. Once I have all of my pumpkins cut in half, I'm just scooping out the seeds. Now these you can actually set aside and you can bake these, which I did on this today, but I did not share it in this video. But if you have never tried pumpkin seeds, they are so delicious, especially the fresh ones. The ones from the store just do not compare to making them fresh. So I do actually save these innards and I make some homemade pumpkin seeds. If you guys would like to see that recipe, let me know, I can definitely share it. It's super simple. Definitely recommend trying to bake out your own pumpkin pumpkin. I feel like you get a lot more for your money even if you're buying the pumpkins. For us this saves a lot of money because we grow these pumpkins in our garden. We probably got about 30 of them this year and they are super low maintenance to keep up with. So I definitely love growing pumpkins in our garden. I like to bake my pie pumpkins at about 375 degrees for right around one hour. I would say check them at the 45 minute mark, but you will know that they are done when you can take a fork and press it right through the skin and through the pumpkin part and it will be nice and soft and easy to poke through. That is how you know your pumpkin is done. Once it is all done, I let it cool for a couple of minutes and then I will just take a spoon and scoop out all of that pumpkin goodness and throw it right into my blender. My blender that I'm using today is the Ninja. I absolutely love this blender. I definitely would say you want some sort of high powered blender or you could also use a food processor, but I do not have one of those. So I just scoop out all of the pumpkin goodness and then I will add just a little bit of water. Make sure you're not adding too much though because we don't want to dilute that pumpkin puree. You want this nice and thick for all of your baking recipes. And then you're just going to blend this up until you get a nice smooth consistency. And and you will end up getting so much pumpkin out of just two pumpkins. So I just repeated this process with all of the pumpkin halves until I got all of the puree done. It really did not take long at all and look at all of this puree that I got. So the two cups is on the right side and then all of this puree on the left I'm just going to go ahead and throw into my freezer for other recipes. Now we're moving on to the pumpkin bars. This is one of my all time favorite fall recipes. I'm adding two cups of sugar into my stand mixer with four eggs into here and then I'm also adding in 
in about three quarters cup of vegetable oil. I'm also adding in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then there are my two cups of pumpkin puree. You're just gonna throw this into your stand mixer and mix it all together. Once you have all of your wet ingredients really well incorporated, then it is time to add in all of the dry ingredients. So here I'm adding in two cups of regular all-purpose flour. And for this recipe, you're also going to need a really good variety of spices. It just makes these pumpkin bars super flavorful. So here I have two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. You're also going to need half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of cloves, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. For the salt, I am just using regular salt in this recipe and I added in about three quarters of a teaspoon. Now this is where I realized that I completely forgot to add in my baking soda and my baking powder so I'm going to go ahead and add that right now but go ahead and add this in with all of your other dry ingredients. So you're going to need two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda and again you're just going to mix all of this together. This is what your batter should look like when it is all done. It should be nice, smooth consistency. And then you're ready to actually pour it into your baking pan. So I'm using a 13 by nine. I definitely would say do a 13 by nine. Or if you want these pumpkin bars to be on the thinner side, you can use a bigger baking sheet if you would like. But I like to keep our pumpkin bars on the thicker side. It's almost more like a pumpkin cake. But you guys, this is such a great recipe. This is my mom's recipe that she has been using for years always turns out so good. I just throw these into a 350 degree oven for right around half an hour to 35 minutes. You will know they are done when the fork comes out clean in the center. Once your pumpkin bars have completely cooled off, it is time to make your cream cheese frosting. So here I have one block of softened cream cheese with one stick of softened unsalted butter. And you're just gonna mix this together. You want it to be kind of a whipped consistency. Make sure that it is really well incorporated. Once that is good to go, you're gonna add in two cups of powdered sugar. Here I just added in one cup to start. And then you will see that I add the rest of the powdered sugar in a little bit gradually just because I find that it incorporates better and it doesn't make such a mess. I also like to add in about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I just love the flavor that it gives this cream cheese frosting. And then you're just gonna take this cream cheese frosting and spread it right on top of your pumpkin bars. I do want to emphasize that you want to make sure that your pumpkin bars are completely cooled off before you spread this frosting on there. It's very important, otherwise this frosting is just gonna kind of melt everywhere. But this cream cheese frosting with these pumpkin bars is so amazing, it's just very light and creamy. It's not super sweet. So if you don't have a big sweet tooth, you're probably going to really enjoy this frosting. These are hands down one of my all time favorite fall treats. Even my husband who doesn't really like pumpkin, he absolutely loves these. They're very moist and just absolutely delicious. And just for something a little extra, I like to sprinkle on either a little cinnamon or some pumpkin pie spice on top just to finish these off. You guys, this recipe is absolutely delicious. I really hope that you try it out. I will have the full recipe in my description box. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram. If you try it, let me know if you love it because this is one of my all time favorite pumpkin recipes. All right guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that little subscribe button if you have not already. And let me know in the comments if you would like to see more fall recipes, like more fall desserts, fall baking, things like that, because that is one of my all time favorite things to do in the fall. So if that is something you're interested in, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, bye. As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care